very much. Uh, well, 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 at long last we are here. A week long, full of activities. And we just have a day to go. We told you that today we are going to have in our midst an August visitor who will come and interact with us. He's an old boy and we are very proud of him. In fact, looking at our theme for the occasion, Glasgow Assisti celebrating our achievements, charting our future. You realize that? If you are talking about achievement, he is our number one achievement. <laughs> I can remember when Tamasco was launching their anniversary. They made a brochure and they tried hard to get a president. And you know what they did? I will tell you. In the brochure, we found that they had included Dr. Hilary Mark. And I was like, what is wrong with you? Dr. Hilary Mark attended the uh, boys' middle school. He didn't attend San Argo Senior High School. <laughs> Ganasco is a pace setter. We have gotten a president. They decided to concoct a president to get a president by force. So I told the headmaster, go and edit your brochure. Dr. Hilary Mann didn't attend San Argo here, senior high school. He attended the middle, uh, the, the boys, is it the middle boys? The schools, whatever. So we are celebrating our achievements. Tomorrow, even though we have told you a number of them, tomorrow you are going to hear more of our achievements. So, students, staff, ladies and gentlemen, with a hand of applause, we want to invite His Excellency. John Dramani Mahama, our number one achievement. Please be seated, be seated.
Please be seated. Let me say, well done. You have such lovely voices. And the words of our anthem make all of us proud. We're proud of this institution. I want to begin by thanking all of you, especially the headmistress and the staff, and all you, the students, for this warm welcome you have given us, the old students who have arrived here today to join you. When the headmistress and some of the staff arrived in my office in Accra to inform me formally about this program. They said the program was going to be in two parts and that the first part would involve like a homecoming where the old students can come to the school and interact with the current students. And then the official program will be tomorrow, which will be the anniversary itself. And um, they were wondering whether I could join you for the Friday. And I said, for my old school, for my alma mater, for Ganasco, I'll leave everything I'm doing and come here and join you. Because this is a school that has made us who we are. I remember in 1971, 72 academic year, we came through the gates of this institution. Very little boys, not knowing what to expect. At that time, the school was very far away from town. Today, Tamale Town is virtually swallowing our school up. At that time, once you pass the Catholic Church on the Roman Hill and you came forward, there were virtually no more houses until you got to the hospital. The hospital had just been built, it was new. And the only other institution close to us was United Primary. I don't know if it is still there. And so there was only United Primary there, which was serving Kuku and surrounding areas, providing primary education to the young people here. And all behind the school, apart from the small Kuku village at the back there, all behind the school was bush. But it was good for a reason that it was bush because we used to go into the bush and eat Sinsaba and Gaia. <laughs> I'm sure by now all those trees are no longer there. You know, and of course when we came, we were from once. I came to school a bit late. And so when I came, most of the bullying had been done. And so I escaped the worst part of the bullying. But I joined many of our colleagues, um, some of them deceased now, the late. Prince Imoru Adani, Baba Yakubu, and so many of the others, Thomas Chaibu, Ajambus, Ophelia Henkel, Yakubu Shito, Beatrice Poku, <laughs> Beatrice Poku, Margaret Dia, Constance Ayu, and so many of them. And we started our education in this great institution. I must say we're proud to have gone to this school because we got to Form 5, wrote the O-levels, and qualified. And that year that we did Form 5, our headmaster, Mr. B. Fusheni, of blessed memory, opened the state form in Ghana school. And so we had the opportunity to continue from Form 5 to state form. At the time we came, 
even though our school was a much smaller school than Tamasco, it was the same. Somehow Tamasco considered us their rivals. They could win any trophy. They could do anything. If they didn't beat Ghana school, they were never satisfied. <laughs> and the rivalry became even worse when B. F. Fusheni moved to Ghana school. Because B. F. Fusheni himself was a Tamaskan. And he was teaching in Tamale Secondary School. And I think when we were from three, he was posted to come and head Ghana school. And he wanted to build Ghana school as strong and established as any secondary school in the country. And he was looking at both sides, academics and sports. And so there were some, some of our colleagues that he brought in, not because they were too academically qualified, but they were good sports people. And he made sure that he gave them extra tuition so that they could build up their academic inputs while doing sports at the same time. And in a few years, Ganasco became one of the strongest sporting schools in the whole of the northern part of this country. <laughs> we could engage Ganasco and uh, Tamasco in any sports and beat them. We had at least like Haruna Siman. I don't know if you've heard of him. He was one of the fastest runners ever produced. He, I think he trained with the national team at a certain point in time. We had baby face. We had uh, AA, Ibrahim AA, AA, and so many others. I remember we used to do cross country and all that. And um, one of our students was part of our cross country team. And the coach had told him, you know, Ibrahim Tama, Tama, that he should take his time so that he doesn't burn his energy too quickly. Unfortunately, Ibrahim took the Tama to mean the whole race. He timed down and ended up last. <laughs> but that was even athletics. When it came to football, we had Abedi Pele. We had uh, Bauer football. Uh, Osgood. Osgood. We had Osgood. If you saved Osgood short, you would end up in hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and so in a few years, Ganasco was a school to be proud of. And all of us were happy to be part of this school. There was the climax when there was the intercolleges football competition and the final was supposed to be between Ganasco and Tamasco and the venue was the Bagabaga field and so we duly went there with our team. The first goal was Ganasco. One of our players, I've forgotten who, he kicked the corner and he curled the ball in a certain way. And so the ball went as if it was going into the field, and it started turning. <laughs> and uh, Tamasco uh, keeper, I remember, he was called Springer. Springer was standing in the pool, and he was watching the ball. He had raised his hands, and the ball curled and passed between his hands straight into the net. <laughs> Tamaskans protested for a while, and the referee said they should start the match again. They should continue the match, sorry. So the match started, they passed the ball, and they scored the controversial goal. They kicked the ball, and they had crowded around our post. And the ball went into the side netting. It didn't go into the post. But in those days, we didn't have VAR and all that. As soon as it entered the side netting, they picked the ball and started jubilating. And the referee thought it was a goal, so he whistled, 1-1. One, one. And so we didn't give up. I mean, Ganaskans, brave people, 
we knew that we were going to beat them. And so we went into the second half. And lo and behold, the golden goal came. Ganasco netted 2-1. They did whatever they could. They couldn't redeem that goal. And so they started threatening us. When the match finishes, you see. When the match finishes, you see. So we went around and told all the Ghanaians, as soon as you hear the whistle, take off. <laughs> so as soon as the referee's whistle went, all of us running back to Ghana school. <laughs> and they were following us with sticks and stones. And I remember at that time, those who came to our aid were the Tamale Technical students. At that time, it was not Tamale Technical University, it was Tamale Tech. And they and Ghana, uh, Tamasco also had a rivalry. So they got angry that Tamasco was attacking us. So they also attacked Tamasco and gave us the opportunity to run away and come back. To A few people had stone injuries on their heads and things, but despite the injuries, we were so happy that we had defeated Tamasco, that, I mean, people didn't really feel the pain. So that's what our school has been. We finished sixth form here, and we dispersed. Many of us went to Ligon, others went to Tech, others went to University of uh, Cape Coast. And since then, the school has continued to produce, you know, people that we can all be proud of. Today, when we see our old boys, there are many accomplished people amongst them. There are many of them we still keep in touch. As I grow old, my eyesight, I need glasses. When I go to Accra, I go to Dr. Adam, who is an old boy, and he looks at my eyes and then he prescribes glasses for me. And so we are still together, you know, uh, despite the fact that we have left the school. The school has been in need of a lot of infrastructural upgrading and we tried to do our best uh, when we were in office, especially for the girls. I remember there was a very limited, when we were here, the accommodation for girls was very limited. We had the girls' dormitory, which was built during the Champong era. And then we had the Slezer House, which was formerly a bungalow. It was like a bungalow that they accommodated the girls in. And so with the construction of the Lodina block, I hear that the school has been able to expand the admission of girls into this school, and we're all very happy uh, for that. And I hear the girls are doing very well in school. And so the main event is tomorrow. If I tell all the stories, I'll have no more story to tell tomorrow. I said one already when we came here. Uh, we used to uh, uh, come in the afternoon, and she used to be regular, like clockwork. There was a woman in Kuku who made Koko. You know this afternoon Koko we have here in Tamale. So she used to come and sell under the tree there, just by Cabral House. And we'll come there at 2 o'clock. Some of our friends will come from here, uh, Sulegarba and others, Asaga, Moses Asaga, and those of them who were in that house down there. Uh, it used to be what, what do they call them? Pesa and Pesa and Dakwema. <laughs> hey, by the way, anytime we did athletics, they were always behind. <laughs> Especially Pesa house. <laughs> So, somehow, somehow their jersey was red. And you know, the tail light of a car is red. Uh -huh. So maybe because of that, anything athletics, you find the PESA person at the back. <laughs> so they used to come and join us under the tree there. And the woman would bring hot cocoa, sometimes cocoa and nina. <laughs> and coolie coolie. And uh, we'll drink it from the calabashes. I mean, those are all some of the experiences we grew up on. 
And so I'll, without much ado, I'll just end it here. Thank all of you. Thank our old students. They've been holding their um, meeting and um, taking decisions about the old students' body and how we can continue to help uh, our school to maintain its greatness. And so I want to thank the president and his executives for the good work they've done during their tenure. And it's my hope that if a new executive takeover, they will continue from when they left off. Um, our current president finished in 68, eh? Uh, no, yeah. Their group was the 68-year group. I pride myself when I say I'm 76-year group. But when I see 68, and today I saw 63. As 65. Madam, the one who greeted me. The one who greeted me down there, I saw 63. She's 68. But there's 65 here. Yeah, so when you are 76 and you think you are an ogre and you see 65, you give way. <laughs> So all our senior members who are still around, I want to salute you and thank you very much for making us uh, proud. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Now the His Excellency John Dramani Mahama is ready to answer or to respond to a few issues that the students will raise. So I employ the head stress. Yeah. Before then, I think uh, Mr. Hassan Ayerga leader of one of the political parties in Ghana, Action All People's Congress, APC. APC was medicine that we used to take when we were children, but <laughs> by the name of uh, a political party that a proud Oruganaskan is leading, and he would like to make one or two comments, after which we invite current students to raise one or two, is two issues that his Excellency John Draman and Mama will respond. Thank you very much. Sasan Yaraga. Oh, look at see if I'm disappointed with your clap. You have to clap very well. Aha. Your Excellency. Your Excellency is my turn. Your Excellency is my turn. And I want to greet you. Thank you. Head uh, The many of us here, I saw my senior lawyer here, a good friend, and I didn't even know he was a, a Ghanaian. He's my very good friend. He was my father's classmate. I think a lot of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> he doesn't want the demotion. <laughs> he was my father's senior. So sorry, Oga. You know, when I met President Mama, he looked at my T-shirt and said, ah, you, 91. <laughs> Look at you, 91. Today, he too, he has seen 65. <laughs> so look at you, 65. <laughs> so you see, when I was coming, a gentleman looked at me and said, you know what, we have to begin to show seniority. And I look at his t-shirt. Mm, it was 87. I said, oh, no. He said to somebody, oh, I want to need that before you. I said, no, 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 no. Don't need that. You get up. You get up. You know why? Because I'll need that after. 
<laughs> so I didn't want to kneel down. So I quickly raised him up and said, oh, you, it's okay. I beg you, no seniority today. Because I remember those days when 91, my classmates are here. They are duly represented. I beg you, stand up so that they will see that 91 students are here. All of you, stand up, stand up, stand up. There are many. So you see, oh, the rest, all of you, stand up. I said, stand up. All of you, just stand up. Aha. You see that 91? <laughs> oh, don't disappoint. All of you, just stand up. Don't see it. Aha. 91, 91, 91. Come on, come on. 76. I think there are just two of them here. <laughs> oh, 76. What are they? Oh. <laughs> the, you know, the story of uh, President Mahama and my is almost the same. The issue of uh, Ganasco and Tamasco.
Okay, so the floor is open for uh, Ghana school students who have something burning to ask or to contribute to the city. The follow can step forward now. Left, right. Maybe you are still thinking. I'll give you two minutes to consider coming or not. After two minutes, I'll close the meeting. to come and talk so if you have anything in your mind please come and talk the floor is open to you for you to come and talk the students oh, okay so you are welcome thank you very much for this great opportunity we want to thank the president and all the guys for everything they've done for us so far, for renovating the uh, Karag Banzaba house and also helping renovate the Girls' Day Lordina house. Please, what I want to put before you is our uncompleted wall. Because this wall is not completed, people from Kuko troop in any time. And the students are also not stable. They go outside any time they want to go. And so, with all due respect, we want to put it before you to help us complete the war so that the discipline of the school will be highly instilled. Thank you. His Excellency. Please, I want to thank you for everything you did for us. But Dagban Kambe Yale, Nepa Gukapa Yare, Sombazasi. Yes, we need place for sports boys and sports activities materials. Yes, and our uh, the park. We need a good fence for it to prevent others from coming in. We normally have we normally have allegations with outsiders whenever we have we want to have sports inside the park. So please, we need your aid. Thank you. I'm I'm called Jamal Zin from Lamashegu, and I'm in Cabra House. Yes, thank you, landlord. <laughs> Good afternoon, elders. Okay, my name is Kwata Kweku Clement, Pesa House, Assistant Landlord. Uh, my issue is about our science and math quiz team. I'm actually a member of the team. And as our our guests have been saying, sports, we are always last, and it's a fact. But academics, PESA is always on top. Yeah. But looking at our science and math system, the students, we are all brilliant, all right, but we lack learning materials. We don't have laptops to do research. We don't even have classrooms where we can personally study. We are always mixed with our colleagues, with their disturbances, we sleep in the same dormitories with them. And the most important thing is we don't even have enough teachers to teach us. Only few of them are dedicating their time to teach us. So we plead if you can get us teachers to help us and also a place to stay where we can keep laptops for research and learn more so that the coming year, we know when we meet, we surely flop them. Thank you. Okay, my name is James Lai, Cabra House Municipal House Prefect. And I'm here 
to thank our excellency for what he has done for us very much because we face a lot of a problem when we when it is in the rainy season but now i can see that all this problem has been done by our excellence and once i want to inform our excellence about our teachers our excellence about our teachers bangalore most of the teachers are outside because there is not enough bangalore in compound and we don't have enough water so this is uh, the problem we are facing. And most of us, uh, we have challenges with the Kukuku, Kukuku people because of the dark water. Thank you, uh, I said. Uh, good afternoon, teachers and uh, our former students. Good afternoon, teachers and our former students, especially his Excellency John Draman in Bahama. My name is Mohammed Sharif, and I'm from the Science Department. We are forced, we are, sorry, we are facing uh, some two difficulties. And that is in uh, our ICT department, and then we the Science Department precisely. First, I would like to talk about the Science Department. Our teachers are good. What we need, they give us. But the painful fact is that they, they all emph emphasize on the science and maths people. They don't try to put another idea about the science project, which is now important for us, especially in Ghana. Yes, we don't try to think about what will help and then develop the country with projects. I think if the government puts more emphasis on it, it will also help. We have more ideas. We are not just like the brilliant science and mass people, but we can also create something to help the nation build up. But because you don't put your emphasis on us, we find it difficult to mumble out what we have for the school. And I would like to talk about the ICT department. Uh, I'm just, last week I went there to check, but there's some revision that they are doing, but which is not well complete. The other ICT lab also needs uh, renovation, and we, we are pleading on the Oga, please try and help us. Thank you. My name is Tevi Daniel Anani, and um, Mr. President, I would like to thank you so much for your support, and then the Ogas, I want to thank you all. Uh -huh. Please, what I want to put before you is the water problem. Um, is the major problem we are facing in campus. It gets to a time that if you're a student and then you don't have money, you cannot get water to drink. Please, I want to put before you to so help us to um, deal with that problem. And then second is what? Our environment. It gets to a time... When you bath, before you get to class, then your white set will become red. Please, I want to plead with you people to help us to fix the environment very well. Thank you. His Excellency, John Dramani Mahama, we are mostly welcoming you today and to the anniversary of Ghana Senior High. You are very welcome. Please, there is a challenge that we face in Ghana Senior High. That I want to bring it out for you to help us. That is the Ladina House. They built the Ladina House for the girls to stay. And we thank you very much for the building. But what we lack is the best, but unfortunately we get the best, and then what we need is oh what we need is that when you come but Latina is not around we want you to go and say a very big thank you to her and Angbanyana Kangulon Kangbanyana Manafa Bonfa Asa Kushunga Abura Sekumolada Kusanafa Barna Kusanafisha Abura Sufu Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Mr. 
present. I'm not sure he came to Yamba. What I also have to say is to thank them, Mr. President, for what it did for us. Like for renovating the Kara and the Banzaba house. And I also here to tell the Mr. President to come to our aim and renovate the um, uh, Nandi South and the uh, Indies Annex. And I'm also here to tell my colleagues to also take our studies very serious to, be, to also become a great people in future. Thank you very much. I think the I think His Excellency John Draman and Mama Oga JDM has had more than enough on his plate. So ask him to quickly come and give a response on behalf of the old Ganaska Association and then see what it is that he can do personally. Thank you very much. Great Ganasco. Great Ganasco. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm sure you all agree with me that uh, today has been worth it and that we have had fun. That's the most important thing, that we have enjoyed this event. Those of us who pass out of the walls of this school, we have been happy to come back and see you, the current students. I'm sure you, the current students, who are inspired by our presence here. The fact that many of us have left the wall this, of this school and be able to achieve something should inspire you to also do your best to be able to make something of your lives. Um, the interaction has been good. Um, I was particularly struck by the girl who asked the first question. She sounded very eloquent. The one who has a question about the uncompleted wall. And um, I think that uh, it was a good question. We awarded the wall project at the time that I was uh, president. Uh, as I said, there were two projects we worked on when I was in office. One was the Lodina block, the girls' dormitory, and the other one was the school wall. Unfortunately, the contractor working on the school wall didn't finish before we left office. And since then, it has stalled because payment to the contractor has been a problem. And so um, I hope that government would find money to pay the contractor so that he can continue and complete the wall. But I can assure you that if the wall is not completed and NDC comes back into office, we shall finish the wall. My little brother from Lamashego, I think he's a sportsman because he was concerned about sports facilities. And nobody knows what talent will take you. It's not everybody who is endowed with the brains. But others who have other talents like music, like art, like uh, sports, and other things. And so not everybody can come and speak eloquently or get AAA in their exams. But you find that where they don't have that, they make it up either as good sports people or others. And so the school's aim and objective is to give an all-round upbringing to all the students. And so even though academic um, um, uh, in the pursuit is one of the main reasons for which we come. It is the duty of the school to give other opportunities for those who have other talents to be able to develop. So the old uh, uh, students' uh, movement will continue to discuss with the headmistress. What we'll do is in the, the little means that we have, we will continue to contribute and make improvements in the school. But you can be sure that it's not a
Petition that uh, schools use to establish their bragging rights. And so depending on how far you go in the National Science and Math Quiz, you know, then you have bragging rights or the right to brag. Um, our colleagues and they went a bit far, but they got knocked out. And um, I'm sure that they are happy because, I mean, once, I told you when we were in school, anytime they went somewhere and they even lost, once Ganasco didn't reach there or they beat Ganasco, they are happy. So we need to look at our own team. Um, the thing is, most of these schools now take the National Science and Math Quiz as a very important project. And so they take their best science and math students and they give them extra tuition and they practice the quiz. They take some of the old questions and take them through it and they practice it. So you just don't go there by accident and go and win. Because these people are practicing it like uh, a competition that they're going to undertake. And so if we don't approach it that way, then we would have a problem. And that's why I think the student was saying that if we can get them some special facilities, identify the best and brightest math and science students, and put them together and let them even compete. Because some of the schools do that. They have like two, three teams, and they let them compete against each other using the questions that have been asked before. And so let's take it serious, and um, we will all be proud if a year soon, uh, or some years soon, Ganasco qualifies for the finals. And we'll even be prouder if Ganasco emerges as the number one science and math quiz at secondary school in Ghana. I know the teachers' bungalows because I live there. When I finish, I have a lot of stories to tell about Ganasco, but like I said, I didn't want to say all because of tomorrow. Because after I finished it from, I came back to come and do my national service here. And um, it is from there that other things happened. And then from there. <laughs> so that one reserved for another time for tomorrow. Uh, so we'll talk about that. But I lived in the teachers, uh, uh, master's bungalows with um, my friend um, uh, William Antoboahi and a former student of this school, uh, Kokole. He was our senior. Yeah. There were three of us in that uh, bungalow. So I know what the bungalows are like. Um, in that time, they were not as bad as they are now. Now I hear they are all in a very poor condition and uh, they need the kind of renovation like we've just done to this uh, Cabral House block. Um, I'm not superhuman and uh, I, I don't say I'm superman, but we will continue to confer with the old students, the other year groups, especially the younger ones like the 91 year group and the waiting presidents you know, we'll confer with them and see how they can raise funds to help to at least repair some of the master's bungalows. And if he's going to build a new Ayarga uh, uh, block, he should consider adding some three or four staff bungalows in addition to, to the block. <laughs> um, some of the other things are matters of um, internal curricula. Um, the one who was talking about uh, science being practical instead of theoretical. I think that that was more a message to the staff. And then his issue about the ICT um, um, uh, uh, issue. I think that I'll leave that to you. Water has been a problem. And it started long ago. In our time, it even got worse. When we came to Sifong, our taps stopped flowing completely. And we had no reservoir or anything. And so the school had to get a tanker to bring us water. And so you had to take your bucket, and the tanker will come and stop by the roadside there. And you must struggle to get at least a bucket. And that bucket must last you that day and the next day before the tanker comes again. And so we had difficulty. In those days, there was no sachet water. Yes, in those days, there was no sachet water. There was no pure water. 
And so we all drank the tap water. So if you get the water in your bucket, it's both for your drinking and your bathing. And so sometimes when the water is not enough, we go to Congo. I don't know how many of you know what Congo is. <laughs> Congo is when you don't have enough water, so you wash your hands and wash your feet, wash your stomach, wash your face, and then you wear your shirt and go to school. school. <laughs> so we had to do that because of uh, unavailability of water. I hear now you have a reservoir. There are various sources of water, but the problem is Ghana water does not flow every day. It flows a number of times a week, and so that creates problems uh, with water. It's a technical issue, and so the, I, d I don't have an immediate answer to it, but I'm happy you raised it because um, often when you have to get up and go and search for water, it eats into the time that you could have used to be doing something else. So the old students, again, will discuss with the headmistress, and if there's anything we can do, we will do. In our time, when the tanker broke down and didn't come at all, then we had to go to Vitin, to the dam at Vitin, to go and fetch water. And you know how that Vitin water was in the dam, very brown and muddy. If you wash your shirt with it once, it will never be white again. And there was also the problem of guinea worm. Some of our students got guinea worm because they had no choice but to drink water from the dam. And so many of, many of them were grounded because of guinea worm. So water is important. And the last lady asked a very good question. Or oh, she made a very good comment. Um, she said they thank Madame Lodina for the Lodina blog, but she's not here. And um, I just want to apologize on her behalf. She actually has traveled and hasn't returned yet. She would have wished to be here, but unfortunately she's not been able to get back. But if you read the Bible, it says that a man and a woman shall leave their father and mother and they shall cleave together and become one flesh. So as long as I'm here, Lodina is here with me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Your Excellency. I'd like to call on uh, Mohamed Sani Ibrahim to uh, move the vote of thanks, and then we can call it a day. His Excellency has more, one more item on the agenda, after which he can retire. Thank you very much. Good afternoon to you all. Great Ganasco. Great Ganasco. Great Ganasco. Thank you all. Thank you all. Good afternoon, school, once again. And I am in the presence of Mohammed Sani Ibrahim, the senior prophet for Ghana Senior High. Your, Your Excellency. The former president, John Dramani Mahama, the headmistress and her assistants, the old Ghanaskans Association present, the members of staff present, colleagues, uh, colleague students, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor to stand here today as the senior prophet to deliver my vote of thanks to our noble gathering. Indeed, we thank our former president for his endless efforts to put all what he has to join us today to celebrate our achievement. Indeed, as we all know, he is one of the greatest achievements that we can all talk about. And then, as it is stated, by the Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that man la yashkuru nasa la yashkuru Allah that who is so, whoever is no so duly grateful to his colleague person will never be great, grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is why we are here today to say a big thank you to the former president for the endless work he has done in renovating Gonzaba Cabral House. And we also wish 
for all those who are here to put all that they have to make it sure ganasco is a great school and yet still one of the problems we have we don't have a assembly hall and so we call on all those diplomatic call on this sitting today we wish that you take our consideration and then we hope that all the problems that ganasco is facing we will be able to achieve it together so on my colleagues and the entire students body we say a big thank you thank you all god bless ghana god bless ghana school thank you okay Oga, President Ohama, we've come to the end, and I'm sure we wish uh, there are other activities through the night till tomorrow when we climax. Thank you all for coming, and may you safely go back to your locations, and then see you tomorrow at the Deva. This very ground will be the place. Thank you so much. All Ganaskans Association members should assemble in the assembly hall, or what passes as the assembly hall. It used to be our dining hall. Now we don't eat there. We assemble there and take instructions from our seniors and our teachers. So let's all go there now. 91, 76, whichever year you are, including 65, 64. And then uh, the 65 people are the dinosaurs here. So the rest of you can go to your homes while we march to the hall for the next meeting. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Voice and Speaks.